Um, what's your name? My name's Justice. Justice, I'm Jacob. Sir, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, I wanna get your honest reaction to a question. I go around and I talk with people about God, death, Christianity, things like that. Uh, and so the question for you today is, what do you think happens after you die? What I think happens when I die? Mm -hmm. What I think happens when I die is more of a, um, because I'm actually a Christian myself, um, I think it's more of a, um, it's a very good question. I feel as though, I feel as though there's a certain time period where all you see is black, but then afterwards you start realizing what happens then. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like all of our life, it's always been a challenge. It's always been a test to see how your faith is, how you walk with God. Um, and I feel like after you die, it's more of just plain old blackness. And I think it's another test to say, hey, how do you feel? Do you still believe in me? And if you still believe in him through darkness, you will see him afterwards. And then you'll get your whole test and everything. I don't know. I've only been taught a little bit about it. <laughs> Where did you pick that up from? Um, so my mom actually told me, I also put a few theses of myself. Um, my mom told me that we go to heaven and that we're tested by God to see if we belong in heaven or if we belong in hell. And I also have a friend, his name is Thaddeus. His, uh, he's actually Mormon. He told me that it's also dark in a sense as well. Um, and so I was putting two and two together. I'm like, it feels more as though it would be a challenge. It'd be more of a test. Because if you also read in the Bible, it's always been necessarily a test just to see if you believe in him. You know what I mean? Well, I think I understand what you mean, but I want to give you what scripture says about those various points. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture teaches different um, realities than what you're describing. So immediately when we die, if we have faith in Christ, and it's authentic faith, we go to be in the presence of the Lord immediately. There, there's, there's a certain kind of hope and assurance that we can have when we come to faith in Christ because we know that when we die, we will dwell with God. And being with Him is better than anything that we can imagine here. Yeah. <laughs> um, now to what you were referring to with judgment, there is that reality described in Scripture as well. So there will come a day, the last day, and on that day, God will give an accounting for everything. All people will stand before him and he will give an accounting for everything. And the reality of that is that we can't appeal to God to go to heaven or hell based on our works. Have you heard that before? I believe I have not. Okay, so part of what the Bible teaches is that when that day comes and we stand before God, we will be given justice for what we've uh, earned. The Bible talks about the wages of our life. And according to places like Romans 6.23, whenever we sin, the wages that we earn is death, spiritual death. We, we deserve wrath. And so what we need to do is we need to receive the forgiveness of God for the sin that we commit, for the wages that we've earned before we die. Do you know how to do that? Ask for forgiveness? <laughs> well, that's part of it, to be sure. But we can't go to God and just say, oh, God, forgive me. Yeah, for sure. So you understand that that doesn't really work that way. Yes, sir, I understand so, that. So then what gives? How, do we, how can we be made right? How can we be forgiven? I feel like, yes, asking for forgiveness. But it's more of... Um, so something I've actually told myself is if you ever ask for forgiveness, don't just ask for forgiveness out of the sheer fear of it. Don't ask for forgiveness just because, oh, this is, I'm about to die or something like that. You want to ask for forgiveness and actually mean to ask for forgiveness and work your tail off to get better at it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, again, I know what you mean, but that's actually not what scripture teaches. Really? Did you know that? No, I did not. Our works don't merit anything in the sight of God. Mm. They just prove whether or not someone's faith is real. Yeah. That makes sense? Yes, sir, it does. And so our only hope is to stand before God before we die and plead for mercy based on what Christ has done. Yes. So if you continue in the way that you're currently thinking, you will die and then you'll stand before God and try to appeal to him based on the works of your life. And it's not gonna work. I understand. And so I don't want that. I don't want you to, to meet God on those terms. I would 
plead with you to think that that's wrong, it's something to repent of. And this helps a lot because um, if I was thinking the way that I was and it was wrong, and I've got some help finally to understand these kind of things the right way, I mean, that helps a lot because my girlfriend, no, believe it or not, she's actually a Satanist. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I'm a Christian, she's, she's a Satanist, and a lot of my friends have been always asking me, hey, how does that work? Um, but recently, actually, she's been asking me to help her become a Christian so we can raise our family in a Christian household. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> because I'm always well, talking God about for God. That. Yes, sir. And um, you know, my way of doing it was to always listen to like Christian metal music, which is like Demon Hunter or Skillet. Um, and because that's her way of being able to touch out with it because she likes that kind of music and I've liked it. So I, I'm still kind of shocked that she's wanting to be a Christian, right? Wow. So at some point I was trying to see if I can get some help and I'm God sent here, right? <laughs> that is an amazing, amazing series of events. And I would agree with you. I think it's Providence that we met today. Yes, sir. I agree so. so as you're trying to build that bridge for her and for yourself, um, I want to extend my help to you and be another uh, person to help bridge you to God through His Word, through His people. Of course. Is there any way I can like contact you, like through yeah. Snap or something? Yeah, I'm willing to give you my phone number. Okay. And we can connect um, for coffee uh, at the <laughs> church that I go to, uh, whatever we can work out this week. So mm -hmm. sounds uh, good. You can take your stuff. Or... Yeah, you got it. And I'll check out one side. I can actually turn this off now. <laughs>